been through a lot, I'm standing strong Gone through hell, but I'm still so good Is there anything I want to be known for? It is that I wasn't going to give up Many times I've fallen down No time, I got to rise up If there's anything I want you to remember Is that I've been brave 2008, I wanted a name I spoke to God, he took me to church oh. He said, son, you are golden There's nothing better, better than gold oh. Now I'm in the light, I'm shining bright It is my time Well, every child was once an artist Until the society discouraged them I grew up in a home where Things seems to be so tough but because I was a tough guy I was able to survive it I was born in Agege area in Lagos where you could actually say can something good come out of this place you know and as time goes on I just discovered my passion for the art I remember vividly while I was growing my dad would tell me, Dotun, pick your sketch pad and start drawing. I was like, wow. Each time we have visitors, I just sketch the visitor and I get my money, my money, coins, and you know, I have this black kulu, this kulu alamo, you know, that I keep every coin, so every penny that I receive from visitors whenever I draw them. And right from that time, I discovered I was passionate for drawing for painting and gradually gradually the potential the the passion grew to a level that i had to now go to an a, a, a roadside artist to do an apprenticeship program fine it's it wasn't easy from beginning but now i can say emphatically that art is a serious business it is a serious business because now I can afford anything I want from my art starting on a street you know getting to a palace is a tough journey that only a dedicated mind and a serious minded person can get to now I remember another story while I was growing up, you know, my dad had five siblings in the house and my passion for art then was poured on many things. I remember sketching on a brand new car, using sharp knife to draw on someone's brand new car, you know, and you receive some dirty slap. I remember another experience that I used razor blades to cut out design on a newly purchased leather chair in my dad's house. It was, it was a tough one. But out of all this experience, I was able to, you know, something came out of me. The, the passion to create new art, new work every day. And that is what brought me to this level I am now. Professionally, I started my career in the year 2000. I studied fine art from Aochi Polytechnic, then moved to Obafemi Aulo University, where I obtained my Bachelor's of Fine Art, you know, BA in Art. And I went back again to have my master degree still in fine art. So I was able to switch between painting and sculpture. My first degree was in sculpture, my second degree was in painting. And since then, my art has never remained the same again. I've been doing it professionally. I mean, I've engaged in several public sculptures, public murals, both home and abroad. I've engaged myself in several uh, relief sculptures and paintings 
several over 30 group exhibition and three solo exhibition and i can say that it has been a wonderful experience to be an artist it has been a fulfilling career because i don't see myself as any other person than to be a visual artist Most of the time when I wake up in the morning, I I just, I have a to-do list. I create my to-do list to have a timeline, drawing from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Sometimes I just do five hours in the sculpture studio, five hours in the painting studio. But what I do most times is when I wake up in the morning, if I feel like working on sculptures, straight I have my sculpture studio, separate from my painting studio. So to create balance, I actually they are closer, you know. So I I try to make things easy for myself by creating a the atmosphere. Now I wake up in the morning after finish after my several sketches and studies, I go back to my sculpture studio to weld, you know, assemble my junks assemble different alloys different metal you know assemble them together and i will but recently i have engaged in hybrid metal sculpture and that has really uh changed my style of work and um, my daily activities even in painting has to do with more of mural painting in communities, communities, uh, local government, uh, you know, home of less privileged. So I, I take things flexible. My name is Dotun Popola. I am a real Nigeria, and I support mouthpiece Nigeria to tell the real entrepreneurial stories. I tell you when you keep turning